Hi everyone, I'm going to be doing a declutter my palette video. I enjoy watching these so much. I love seeing what people have and why they get rid of it and stuff like that. But as you can see, I have a lot of palettes. I got my chai tea and my huggies ready to go. So let's just get started. I'll probably start from this to the right and then move to the left. And we'll just get started with whatever's over here. Now here I have a Walking on Eggshells Wet and Wild palette. It is a very great neutral color, but I do have palettes with these exact colors and I would prefer to let go the Wet and Wild over the ones that I've actually put money on. Because these ones you can get for 99 cents or less with a good coupon. But it's just a great neutrals palette. It is pretty but I, I'm pretty sure I own these, so I'm going to pass this on. And some of them I might list on Poshmark. It's kind of iffy, but I don't want to hold on to a whole bunch of stuff, so Walking on Eggshells is going to go. And I'll swatch that for those of you interested. See, I there are other palettes that I'm sure would be good. And whether it's drugstore, sorry guys, I'm losing ya. Whether it's drugstore or not, I don't differ. I'm not going to be picky about it. But the Walking on Eggshell one can go. I have plenty. And then next is the Wet n Wild Sphinx Minx. Sorry guys. <laughs> and this one is just a nice brown gold palette. It said limited edition, but I had trouble finding it as it was. I got it really good with the coupon. This kind of reminds me of Max Old Gold. See how pigmented that is? And then the base, and then the brown's just a really pretty brown. Uh, the sparklies, overrated. I'm not too fond of Wet n Wild sparklies, but yeah. That one is gorgeous, and I will keep that for tutorials. Or just for get ready with me. Sorry guys, I'm new to this angle. I'm trying to film with this camera. <clears throat> and then, so this one, the Sphinx Minx, we're going to keep. Next is Avon's palette. I believe this was from a few years ago. And it's called Arctic Goddess. And this one is a really fun palette. I don't have any palettes with these colors. And even the black is blue based. And that blue is really creamy. It's not patchy at all. So even the darkest color is blue-based. Sorry, mirror's blinding you. See, blue's not too patchy, but I did just use a huggy wipe and it's glittery from the palette I just did. I'm gonna hold on to this for a while, even though you guys really can't get a, hang a hold of it unless it's, you find it on eBay or something. But this one I'm gonna hold on to. Next is the Petal Pusher palette, and I've had this for a while. You can still find them in the store, and these are pretty inexpensive, so if you had them for a few years, and even though they're not starting to smell all funky or whatever, I would still just change them out, throw them away, give them away, buy some new ones for yourself. Uh, this one looks pretty well used, so I think I'm just going to pass this one on. But it has some great purples. Yeah, see, it's just not as nice as it was. So I think I'm going to pass this on to whoever wants it. And if not, I'll probably just throw it away. So that can go on the Pass On palette. Next is the Comfort Zone palette. I haven't even opened this yet. I got it with a coupon. I love this palette. This one is exactly like Max Club. And this green one is gorgeous. I have bought this three times. I switch them out every year because I just don't want... I can disinfect it, but I just don't want bacteria and stuff, so this one I'm going to keep. And then next is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. I just got this in the mail, and I bought one for a friend for her birthday. And these, this palette is pretty good for a range of skin tones, so if I had to do someone's wedding makeup or anything like that, a friend's makeup, yeah, I haven't even taken the tape off, but I could just show you a couple colors through the tape because I know I'm going to keep it. But they seemed really gorgeous. And this is another one that if you couldn't find Spink Sminks, oh my gosh, that one's pretty. If you couldn't find Spink Sminks, the Carly Bible one, that one's a little rough, is a great palette. Pretty pigmented, not patchy. 
I'm going to keep this because it's brand new. Sorry about that. It has been called and I had to take it. So, I just got done showing you the Carly Bible palette. And next on the list is the Urban Decay. I believe this is the Vice One. And this was my favorite palette when it came out, but I still didn't hit any pan on any of the eyeshadows. And that is something that I want to compare to my Bon Bons palette. And I can either keep this and return the Bon Bons. I haven't touched it yet. Or I can sell this and keep the Bon Bon. Um, either way, they both have really good colors. And my favorite is Noise. Pretty pigmented. And we're going to put that one right on the wrist so I can compare the Bon Bon to it. Actually, that's not that pigmented once you swipe it out. And Vice. I have the eyeliner of this. These are so pretty in this till up here. That till. And this chaos blue. These are like some of the best colors I've, fe I've seen. I've seen. I've seen. And it's just one of those palettes where I don't have to get rid of it. But I want someone else to enjoy it if I'm not going to. So that's the Vice one. This is going in the maybe pile. Like I have to decide if I want to keep it or let someone else love it. I love these wipes. And next is this Maybelline Holiday Collection palette. It's called Gilded in Gold. I kept the box and I lost the receipt to return it because I just scatterbrained as I am. Now I got this for travel. And I thought it would be good for travel, but this palette is just not my type of palette. I do have another one I will show in a little bit, and it I never even touched these two. And it just has like this really pale pink, pale champagne, a gold, and a brown. And this weird blush, like this isn't even the same consistency as their other blushes, and the highlight doesn't even show up. It is creamy though. It's just not the right kind of highlight. It just disappears and the blush is okay blush, but like I said, doesn't even show. It would show on probably someone way fairer than me, even though, oh gosh guys, I'm sorry. I smashed my finger in my car door. I started talking about selling it and I think it got back at me, but I'm sorry if you see that. I, I really should have painted my nails. So please excuse my smash thumb. And yeah, that's pretty much those. Not the greatest. So I think I'm going to try and sell that. Because I just swatched it. I didn't even touch my face to it. And the other things are still good in it. So that is going to go to the sale pile. And then next is this little mini palette that I got from one of my besties for Christmas. And she gave me a blue, a beautiful blue eyeshadow to go with it. And it's empty. So I probably don't even have to show this to you, but I'm going to. And it's just this beautiful Urban Decay Build Your Own palette. And I'm going to put the blue in here. I already know where it's at. But yeah, it's just, I'm going to keep this because I can build my own and then I can travel with it. And then next we have the Urban Decay Naked 3, which is the rosy and pinks. I love this palette. I waited forever to have it. I used to have the two, but I did sell it. And it's just this really pretty pinks, but the colors just don't come off how you think they would. So it's like I would miss it, but not really. Like, I think I'd be okay if I, if I got rid of it. So this is going to go in the maybe. I could probably sell it. Um, someone else would probably love it way more than I do. But when you first start out in makeup, you know, you get that, um, I need it because it's new and it's Urban Decay and I love Urban Decay and you get those kind of things. So it's just one of those where I don't reach for it as much as I wish I did for the money I paid for it. And then next we just have the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics. And I love this palette. I actually have dents in it. And I don't even have to question it. It's just a great neutral palette. It has my eyeshadow, um, my eyeshadow, my eyebrow color in it. And it's just great. And you take this with your really, really bright palettes and you're good to go. So that one I'm going to keep. 
And then next, we have the Anastasia Arnest, Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. And I only have two Anastasia, Anastasia, sorry guys. I only have two of those palettes because I did buy the Couture, Shadow Couture, or the Word Traveler palette. Hold on, let me see. Oh, I did buy the, the other one, the new holiday one, but I ended up taking it back. I didn't touch it, but just wasn't my type of palette and these are my favorite there isn't one shade in here that i don't love that i won't use so aberging is gorgeous and then unicorn i love unicorns like i have to keep this just for the purple unicorn so pretty and this yellow like yeah it's yellow you don't need to know anything else other than it's yellow and orange you fancy is just orange I don't even have to question it. I'm keeping this. I don't have any other shades in my collection of palettes that have these in there, and it's great for travel. If you can find it on eBay without someone gouging the price, I think you're good. And let's see, next is the other Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is the Shadow Couture, another one that I love. It still creaks when I open it, so sorry. And then this is another one. It has beige. I don't think this one has beige. -ly. That's the other reason why I returned the holiday one. Because it had a few colors I do own. And pink champagne is reason enough to own this palette. That is so pretty. Morocco is perfect. And then this azure color. Like those. Yes. Yes ma'am. I will take it and thank you. <laughs> so those I will keep. These I don't even have to question. There is no, I want someone else to love it more than me. No, I reach for them. I do. And I have bases that match for those. So Shadow Couture, I will keep you. And next is the Stila palette in the light. These they were discontinuing and this is what I have to compare it to is the Naked One too because they do look kind of similar. And I don't want to keep the Stila just for Kitten. But they're not totally similar in tone. But you kind of get the idea that you don't need both. But I'm going to think on this one. Because I do want someone else to get more use out of it. I mean, Kitten's gorgeous. Um, this color called Bubbly is so pretty. And then Sunset. These are the only colors I will end up hitting pan on. And that's only one, two, three colors. And you have ten. So if three colors is worth keeping a palette, maybe. But the price point at what it costs isn't worth... See, there's walking on eggshells right there from Wet n Wild. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to sell it. I'll probably keep the eyeliner though. Yeah, I'm going to sell this on Poshmark and see if someone wants it to love it more than I will. It's just something that I have the Naked One and I'm going to keep using it because I already invested in it. So the Naked One, here we go. My favorite palette. It's getting dense finally. I can use every single color in here and the black is pretty. My favorite though is Toasted, Hustle, Half-Baked. And Sin. Now, those are my favorite, but those aren't the only ones I'm going to touch. With the Stila, I'm pretty sure those are just the ones I would use. So, those are those. Plus, the pigment is just there. The pigmentation. Sorry, my light's washing this out. But, yeah. Naked One, I'm keeping. I love the Naked One. I always end up taking that with me everywhere I go. And next is this Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. This was a summer one, I believe, or spring. And all the colors in it drew me to it. And I'm going to keep this because I don't have... I have a till in my, my self-made um, MAC palette. But it's not like this. Like, I have a turquoise in there. This is just like this really pretty green and this pink and this plum... And this orange kind of reminds me of that Anastasia, but this actually does a great gradient effect when paired with that eyeshadow because it's kind of like a peachy pink. 
and those are those. So there I go again with another bright pink eyeshadow that might also be in the Bon Bon palette. That one's called Bubblegum. But this one I'm going to keep because it was hard to get a hold of. I had to wait for my Ulta to get that in. And I just love it. Like those colors are pretty good. You put a Stila eyeshadow, um, no, eyeliner as a base and you're good to go. Next is this Essential Eye BH Cosmetics. And I found this at TJ Maxx. It was decently priced. But there again, I have enough. I have so many eyeshadows, guys. Like these are really pigmented and I love them. But when it comes down to do I need them, I probably don't because I have enough eyeshadows to hold me over, especially if I have to do someone else's makeup. But then again, if I sell the Naked 3, this is also worth keeping because it does have some rosy tones. So I'm 50-50 about this. I'm going to put it in the maybe. I'm leaning more towards keeping it though because I am going to get rid of the Naked 3. So yeah, I'm... 50-50 on it. So we're going to put that in the maybe but not selling pile. Next is Buxom. This was in their holiday collection. It's just the look all you want eyeshadow palette. I love this because it has my kind of colors in it. And this opal one is so gorgeous. It transforms any shadows into like this blue pearl. This green is gorgeous and they all work. So I'm going to keep this and then whenever I want to switch it out, I can. So that is staying with me. I actually, I actually use that a lot. And then next is my Makeup Academy eyeshadow palette. Now when I got this, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I love the colors in it, but do I really need to use it? I mean, purples are hard to come by that are great purples, but this is in no way a great purple. The blue's pretty. This darker purple is patchy. It is so rough. And then this coppery shade is really pretty. But when it comes down to it, I'm just not going to reach for it. I haven't reached for it since I bought it. And I think I can make a few bucks off of it to pay off the Too Faced I just bought. So yeah, I think I'm going to sell this. So there are more palettes out there guys and I have enough that it's okay. I will survive. And if I sell them and end up wanting to buy them again, then I will rebuy them. And then next is Too Faced Natural Eye. Yay! I love this one. This one has one of the worst colors in it though. Nude bit nude, sorry, nude beach is a color that I used and I had glitter on my eyes for two days. It is just so glittery. It is not good if you have contacts and it gets in your eye. You can hurt your eye, but push up. See, I already got a dent in it. Push up is gorgeous. So is Honey Pot. And then these are my eyeshadow, my eyebrow colors. Like this is the old packaging, but it works. And when I hit pan, I probably won't buy it because I do have similar colors. But for now, I'm going to keep it because I've already invested too much time to hitting the pan in that palette. Let me get another wipe. Next is Pacifica. I like the idea of using paraben eyeshadows that are free and it's just a healthy palette in general. I have some of these colors in other palettes, but these are very sheer. You do have to build them up. They look pretty pigmented until you get them on a brush. This kind of reminds me of Aberjean. It's pretty pigmented until you get them on a brush. And that blue is kind of patchy. But it is pretty. I mean, it gets the job done. And it is one of the more natural palettes that I do want to keep. I don't have a lot of natural um, type of products. Maybe once I get the Honest Beauty eyeshadows going. But like I said, I need to declutter this and see how many palettes I'm left with. So next is Too Faced. This is my favorite palette besides the Naked One. This is, I also grabbed to take traveling. It has more variety. There's a couple of brighter colors in there, but still pretty neutral. Like I said, I, I can get rid of those Too Faced ones because when you look at these type of natural palettes, they all start looking the same. 
But yeah, it's still it's still really good. Still smells like chocolate. I mean, keep this. And next is well, that's my Mac blush palette. We'll do this. I won't I won't declutter these. I might declutter this one because it's old, but it's still a blush palette, and I'm gonna do a declutter blush later on. So that's gonna go over here. That shouldn't be in there. Now the Lorac Pro 2 palette. This I I just can't, like I nicked it with a nail, but I bought this for a friend's wedding. We went in a different direction as far as makeup went and it was already too late to return it. So I think I'm gonna sell this. It's still pretty good. I'm probably just gonna even that eyeshadow out, clean it up a little bit and list it on Poshmark. So yeah, I don't have much to say. They're powdery, they muddy together. Not my favorite formula. But as far as Lorac goes, the unzipped, the first unzipped palette, oh my gosh, guys, like I can get rid of the naked three palette and keep this just on its own. This one is gorgeous. I haven't hit pen yet, but I could show you. This is kind of like pinup. So that's what I mean is if I finish that Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, I wouldn't have to go buy new ones. It's pretty pigmented. So that one I'm keeping. Next is my Urban Decay Ammo. I think this is the Ammo palette. It, I got it on sale for 15 and it came with a little primer. I'm going to keep this because it has shattered smog. I did get rid of the Urban Decay 2, Naked 2. Last Call, Chopper, and Sin. I love Sin. So when I run out of Sin on the first palette, I have this one. And yeah, I'm sure this isn't in as much as unique. But it is a small palette and I love to travel with it. I take this one with my, with my natural palettes whenever we go somewhere. <clears throat> and then we'll kind of go over this way. Next is Smashbox. It is the mini box palette. I love these eyeshadows. This is perfect for travel. I have three travel palettes and this is the one that I've been taking everywhere. And then it also has a bronzer, a blusher, and a highlighter. And then these three colors are perfect when you're trying to do like a natural colorful eye. And there's not much to it. So this one I will keep because it is good for travel and it's one of the favorites. All right, we're getting down to it guys. I have I had too many palettes. Next is Unique's Moodstruck Addiction 1. I'm trying to sell the number two. I was out of my comfort zone. This one I will keep. These are really pretty colors and like I said, it's brown, it's neutral. I'm sure I have other colors like it. But every time I wear this, I do get compliments on it. So I'm going to keep that one. Number two, I'm going to sell on Poshmark because it had the blue, the, the dark tone silvers and the blacks. Next is if you want to get rid of your naked two, one, and three, you'd be fine with just this. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. And it has all the neutrals and a pop of color. My favorite colors are Punk, Danger, and Harajuku. I love this palette as a whole. I've gotten some pretty neutral looks from it, and it's pretty much new to my collection, so that we're keeping. Another one that's newer is the Stardust Too Faced by Vegas Nay palette. Like I said, they're, I, once you start looking at all my natural palettes, they start getting repetitive. So, But it's something that I like keeping. The purple's gorgeous, the double tap. This whole palette is perfect. Like, I would take just this alone if I had to. I also like having variety. So I'm going to keep that. It's too new. Next is my MAC Make Your Own Palettes. And there's nothing in here that I needed to pot. These aren't even MAC. These are like two NYX shadows from their old, old palettes like Cranberry. And then Spensive Pink. And oh, I can't remember what this one is. But nice looks. One of these is... These two look exactly the same on camera, but they're not. They're about two tones darker. One's Electric Eel. Uh, turquoise is also my favorite. That one has a dent in it. This is just my make your own. I'm going to try and get more eyeshadows for it, but until then, I have quite a few I don't have to worry about. Next is the Too Faced Return of Sexy palette. This one I... Every time I list it to sell it, I always keep taking it back. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. But it comes with the looks of the Ingenue, the Icon, and the Bombshell. The Ingenue, the Icon, and the Bombshell. 
So these are meant to be regular eyeshadows, the eyeliners and the highlights. And these colors are just gorgeous. Like that's just like a shimmery transformer eyeshadow. And then this gold one. Like every time I think I want to sell it. This is so underrated. I don't see anyone talk about this. And the shadows stay for days. So uh, I just I'm on the fence about this one as well. So that one's going to go to the right as on the fence. But maybe. Almost done guys. Almost done. And then. L'Oreal Le Palette number nude. It's a drugstore. Oh my gosh, like I I've heard half and halfs like goods and then half bads. But this eyeshadow palette, they are all creamy. There isn't one rough eyeshadow in this whole palette. And they lasted all day on me. So it's just one of those where take from it what you will. If you like it, you like it. If not, don't don't try the other ones but they're all pretty pigmented on me and I actually enjoy using it so I'm going to keep that another reason why it's okay to sell the Naked 3 next is the Vice 2 palette by Urban Decay now this is one that I think I'm going to let go because I just I've used it for a month and then the only eyeshadow I really want to use is this one these money together the blue I have in another palette. The green is in another palette. Voodoo's really chunky. Toxic I have in the Lorac one. I, Lorac, I think. So it's just one of those where I'm still on the fence, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell it. It's fun while I had it, but yeah, it's time to go. And then another one is, but if I keep... No, that's what it is. Okay, if I keep two... I'm not going to keep one, but I'm thinking I'm going to keep one. So we're going to we're going to fix that right now and amend it. So two is going, one is staying. Next, I got in a coast uh, boxy charm is the Revealed Smoky palette. I haven't even touched it yet, but it looks really fun. And I didn't buy the Urban Decay Smoky, so I think I'm going to keep this one. The colors are gorgeous and they're pretty pigment well no no it's not how are people saying these are pigmented that's what I'm getting off of it I mean it's it's not yeah it's not that great I get more from the L'Oreal Ooh, that one is powdery I get more from the L'Oreal 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 palette so this one I'm gonna think about I might not. I'm I might not keep it. It was a good idea. I mean, I was so excited to get it in the boxy charm, but now that I look at it, I'm just uh, we'll think about it. And then last is I already know I'm going to keep this, but I will show it to you because I just picked it up yesterday and this is the chocolate faced <laughs> chocolate Too Faced Bonbons palette. And I'm sure you guys have seen this all over. But it's just that. I'm not going to touch it yet. I'm pretty sure that's close to another pink one I have. But it's okay. But that one I'm going to keep. So this is what I am decluttering. That's what I'm decluttering. This right here. Sorry camera. That is what's going bye bye And this is everything I'm keeping. Now it is going to change because I'm going to go through this one more time. And I know I don't want to keep them all because this stresses me out. Like this whole scenario stresses me out. So I'm going to go through them again, but this is pretty much going to be the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was long, and I hope you all have a great day. See you later. Bye.